Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. We're gonna do a nice yin-yang practice today, which is a mixture where we start with a more flow-like practice and then we go into some yin poses, which means that we're holding the poses from two to five minutes. Um, the focus point in today's practice is going to be the liver, gallbladder, and spleen. So these are all quite heating organs in the body. It is connecting to anger and frustration, so more heating emotions. So it's a really nice practice to also help to cool down emotionally. Physically, we're focusing a lot on stretching out the sides, the side body, as well as the outer legs, the outer tracks, and the inner track. And have a blanket if you'd like, you could have a block if you have that available, and some kind of cushion. If you don't have any of these yoga props, don't worry. Um, you can just find whatever you have at home. Maybe you can use a book or you can use some cushion from your sofa, some blanket from your sofa. So whatever you have available, but it's nice to have uh, something to support you throughout the class. All right, so let's begin. Let your thumb and index finger touch with your palms facing up. Drop a little bit deeper into your seat. And gently lengthen up through the spine. Feel yourself fully releasing and surrendering into this very moment. Start to deepen the breath, feeling both the belly and the chest expanding on the inhale and softly contracting on the exhale. As you slow down the breath, feel your whole body relaxing. You can either stay on a cushion or take that to the side and release your sit bones all the way to the ground. And we will then start with lowering the right hand down, lengthening the left arm up to enter our first side bend. Really reach here through the fingers and rotate your chest a little bit up towards the ceiling. And then slowly come across to the other side, rooting the left hand down, reaching the right arm up. Feeling that opening from the hips all the way to the fingers. Last breath in. And let's slowly come all the way across to the other side. Rooting the right hand down again and floating the left arm up, bringing your hand to the back of the head. And then inhale, spin your chest a little more open. And with the out breath, draw your elbow forward and down. Inhale, rotating the heart open towards the ceiling. And with the out breath, draw the elbow towards the knee. Inhale, feel that pull all the way into the armpit and with the out breath, slightly rounding the spine. Inhale and now extending the left arm at the top of the inhale. Exhale, come across to the other side. Float the right arm up, bring your hand to the back of the head and then breathe in, rotate the chest open. Breathing out, then draw your elbow towards the left knee. Inhale, rotating the chest open. Again, feel that pull into the armpit. Exhale, elbow towards the knee. Inhale, rotating the chest. 
exhale elbow to the knee inhale last time extending the right arm at the top of the in breath and then exhale come back to center from here bring the other foot in front root your hands down to the ground and gently fold forward maybe you stay on your hands maybe you drop the forearms down whatever feels comfortable and start to just sway your head a little bit from side to side loosening up the neck releasing any tension you might feel here then walk your hands over to the right side this time extending and reaching all the way to the fingers and then gently bow your head forward the crown can lengthen towards the same direction as the fingers. Feel your side body opening. Slowly come to center and walk over to the other side, repeating the same thing here. Actively reaching through your arms, but also find some softness and relaxation here. Guide the breath to the side body. And then after a final breath, we will start to bring ourselves back to center. Gently transition now onto your hands and knees and turn to face the front of your mat. And round your spine on an exhale, circle the ribcage towards the left, curve your spine and then circle the ribcage up to the right, creating one more circular movement like this, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up, one last time breathing in and exhale out. Switching direction, going with the rib cage towards the right, curving the spine, breathe in, up to the right, breathe out. Two more times, inhale on the way down, up to the right and round the spine, exhale. Inhale last time, and exhale. Good, now from here, inhale and curve the spine just letting the chest face forward with the out breath rounding the back inhale curving the spine coming into cow pose and with the exhalation round your spine drop the head tuck the tailbone in inhale tailbone tilting up chest facing forward and with your next exhale, sit back, child's pose. Drop the forehead down to the ground. Relax for a moment and bring the attention back to those deep grounding breaths. And take a final breath here. And then slowly transition onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes in and rise up, downward facing dog. Gently pedal out your feet from side to side. Awakening up those legs. And then start to slowly walk to the front of your mat. Now take your hands to the shins, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, folding forward, repeating that, breathe in, halfway lift, and breathe out, folding forward. One more time, inhale, and exhale, folding forward. Now bend your knees a little bit deeper, swim with those arms behind the back and interlace your fingers, moving your arms away from your hips, 
lengthening out the chest, opening the shoulders, and you can create a soft swaying motion here from side to side. Let's take a final deep breath in. And then release your hands down, drop them towards the ground, and just roll yourself all the way up to standing. Once you arrive here, take a deep breath in, sweep your arms up overhead, and with your exhalation, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, maybe fingers to the ground now. Exhale, stepping back with both feet. Inhale, plank pose, then lower the knees. Exhale and release your upper body. Point your toes here and then breathe in, rise up, cobra. Exhale, lower your chest back down. Inhale, we will repeat that, move the shoulders down. Exhale and lower. One last time, breathe in, lift the heart, and breathe out to lower. Now slowly press all the way up and back into a downward facing dog. From downward dog, let's take the right leg up, inhale, and exhale, step forward in between your hands, lowering the left knee to the ground untuck your toes now you're gonna move a little bit like seaweed in the water float the right arm up stretching along the inner arm and then with an out breath float with that right arm down and underneath the leg then inhale sweep that arm up and then with an exhale let it float down and slightly under the thigh breathe in sweep the right arm up Breathe out, float it under the leg. Inhale, feel it stretching into the armpit. And exhale, sweep it down. Last time, breathe in. And with an exhalation, lower your right hand all the way down. Tuck your toes in, lift the knee, and step directly back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower down to a low plank or all the way to the ground. Then breathe in, rise up, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Now with your next inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step forward in between your hands. Lower down the right knee, untuck your toes and root the right hand down. Now float the left arm up, inhale. And with your exhalation, sweep that down and slightly under the leg. Breathe in, rotate your chest nice and open. And then exhale again, moving like seaweed in the water. Breathe in, rotate the left arm up. Exhale out, sweep it below the leg. Inhale. And exhale, soft sweeping motion. Inhale one last time. And exhale to lower. And placing your left hand down, tuck your toes in and step back downward, facing dog. From downward facing dog, let's come forward with an inhale. Exhale, lower again, low plank or all the way to the ground. Then rise up into an upward facing dog. And with an exhale, press back into downward facing dog. From down dog, we will relax the knees down and sit back into a child's pose. You can take your knees a little bit wider apart for this child's pose. And then start to walk with your hands over to the left side. 
Now just like we did in the beginning, reach actively through the fingers and guide the breath to the right side of your body. Feel it open a little more with every inhale. Come to center and walk across to the other side, feeling the left side of your body stretching, cooling down those heating organs, creating space, releasing blocked energy. And as we come to center, transition onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes in, and press back up into downward dog. And take a final breath here in down dog. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the front. And then breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, slightly bend the legs as you rise up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. And then sweep the arms up on an inhale, grabbing a hold of your elbows. Exhale, leaning over to the right side. Take another inhale here and hold. And then exhale and slowly come back to center. Inhale, stay in center, lengthening through the sides. And with your exhale, leaning towards the left. Inhale, hold. And then exhale, come back to center. Now release the elbows, inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Root the hands down, exhale, and stepping back into a downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we're gonna move into the yin part of the practice. Gently lower down your knees and prepare for deer pose. We're gonna draw the left knee forward below the left wrist and then lower down the outer track of the leg, the outer hip. Draw the left foot a little more forward and then bring the right knee close to the left heel. Now you're gonna feel like you're leaning a little bit over to the left side. See if you can fold straight over the knee, keeping your upper body fairly straight. You can use some pillows here, whatever you have available, either to relax your forearms on those props or to drop your forehead. You will feel the pressure along the outer track of the leg all the way into the glutes. If this feels overwhelming for the knees, you could always try to tuck some extra props such as a blanket underneath the hip or you can pull the right foot closer in towards you. It is important here that we relax our whole body as much as possible. Try to really drop into your arms. Drop your head down, relax your facial muscles. This is a moment for you to really bring the attention back to the breathing. And in the yin part of the practice, you might slow the breath down even more. Bring the attention to the belly, feeling the soft rising and falling. Dropping more and more into the earth. Through this opening, feel yourself releasing anything stagnant, stuck, 
anything feeling sticky along the outer track of the left leg. Bring your full attention to the here and now, to the breath, to the experience. And then taking a final deep breath here. starting to lift your head up and away from the prop, bringing your hands under the shoulders, clearing the space so that you can bring both legs forward, and as we stretch them out, gently shake them out. And then take your hands and gently massage the outer tracks, getting the circulation going again, especially on the left side. And then bring your legs to the side, come back to your hands and knees. And this time we will take the right knee below the right wrist, lowering down the outer track of the right leg bringing the thigh parallel to the mat. And the left knee comes just below the right heel, preparing with some pillows, some props in front of you, a little bit more in front of the right knee. And then either stay on the forearms as I'm showing on this side, or you can lower down a little bit deeper, maybe relaxing your forehead on top of these props. The arms can come alongside and then completely relaxing, releasing into the ground, welcoming this healthy pressure along the outer track of the right leg. You might observe some differences between the sides. If you feel any sharp pain or any discomfort here in the knee, I would again advise to bring your heel a little bit closer in towards the body rather than having your shin parallel to the front of the mat. And you can also tuck some blankets underneath the right hip. Continue to guide yourself into the here and now. If your mind is drifting, come back to the sensation of your own breath. Listen to my voice. Observe what is happening in your body on a deeper level. without trying to feel a certain way. Just notice what is there. Not only the physical self, but the energy. Notice how we are simulating the opening of certain channels. Now we take the final breath here. And then 
slowly lifting the head up, walking those hands back, clearing some space once more so that you can come to a seated position, shaking out those knees, feeling the effects. And then massaging out the outer tracks, especially the right side. Now from here we will start to come to a seated position on a folded blanket. So you can sit right on the edge extending the right leg and bringing the left foot along the inside of the thigh. Now if your knee is lifting from the ground, you can take a pillow or a block to help support your leg. You could also use a pillow here on top of the right leg, just over the knee. We're gonna fold over the right side you can either use this pillow to support the forearms or if you would like to go a little bit further, maybe a pillow or a block or a pillow and a blanket. Again, whatever you have available and lower your forehead. With some extra prop, the beauty is that we can gradually ease into a pose. So if you have a block or a blanket, you can lower it a little bit more as you feel your body settling in to the side bend and forward fold. As with the previous pose, try to relax the rest of your body as much as possible. And feel how we're focusing the opening along the inside of the right leg where we have both the spleen and the liver channel. We're also opening the left side body where we have another spleen channel running. Guide the breath into these regions. Guide the energy flow through this awareness of the breathing, the channels opening, Help your body to rejuvenate these areas, releasing accumulated excess heat, even releasing anger, frustration. Now slowly lift your head, come back up to an upright position and just feel the effects for a moment. And then gently turn over the left leg, bringing your right hand to the outside of the knee and the left hand behind you, twist. take one final breath here and then slowly come back to center leaning slightly back as we prepare for the other side you might need to adjust the blanket a little bit now bringing your cushion your prop on top of the left leg maybe a block under the knee or you can use that support your head and then start to fold forward 
Your foot can be relaxed here. It doesn't have to be super flexed. You just want to be mindful of the rotation of your knee. So make sure that your knee is facing upwards. As you did on the other side, only if that feels good, you can gradually release a little bit deeper. Maybe adjusting some props as you fold. Listen to your body. Only go to a point where you feel the effects. I usually say max 80%, but rather staying around 70 so that there is still space for you to just soften, surrender, and ease into the pose. Again, bring the attention to the channels opening, the inner left leg. And this time, the right side of the side body, which is connecting more to the gallbladder channel, as well as the liver. Starting to slowly rise all the way back up to seated. You can take the cushion away and then once more just observe. Notice the effects. And gently twist over the right knee. You can take your hand to the outside of the leg. The right hand behind you. Breathe into the twist. And then slowly return to center. We will clear the mat again from any props. Facing forward now. And then gently bringing ourselves all the way down. And with your knees into the chest, you can just arrive here and sway a bit from side to side. We will do a final pose here for the inner legs. Taking the arms along the inside of the legs and you can start with grabbing a hold of the ankles. If this feels too gentle, lift your head up. Interlace your fingers around the feet. And as you lower the head back down, feel that you're slightly pulling your feet towards you. This happens naturally from that interlacement. The arms are just straight, the shoulders plugging back, and the neck is relaxed. Make sure that your whole spine is able to root down and just drop into the ground. Feeling now the energetic opening along the inner track of both legs. Continue to breathe deeply. Feel yourself surrendering. Staying in the now. Inhaling fresh energy into the inner track of the legs 
and exhaling anything feeling tense, sticky, heavy. take a final breath here and then gently lift the head releasing your feet and lower the feet wide apart as we go through a couple of windshield wipers you want your feet to be on the outer tracks of the mat we roll along the inner feet and the outer feet. And I'm also swaying my head here a bit from side to side. That's optional if you want to release your neck. Let's do that once more on each side. Now we will prepare for our final pose. Coming into Shavasana, placing a blanket over you or just a low belly to help ground the energy. You can also put a pillow on the low belly for the same purpose, to root down and ground the energy. Feel yourself now fully dropping and surrendering into the back of your body. Let everything sink a little bit deeper into the ground. Soften the breath and let go.
Now start to gently wiggle your fingers and toes, circulating the wrist and the ankles, and giving yourself a little stretch with the arms up overhead, pointing those toes forward. And let's slowly turn over to the side of the mat, bending in your knees, taking one arm underneath the head, and then from the side, slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Coming back to cross-legged. Thank you so much for joining this class. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what other classes you would love to see from me. And hope to see you next time.